What's up guys? So in a video last week we ended up picking up a grill, a honeycomb grill for the truck uh, for $40. If you guys didn't see that video, check it out. It was a video posted last week and basically I showed you guys how I found and sourced a grill for $40. So basically the only reason why I wanted that whole grill was just for the inserts, the honeycomb inserts. But I didn't need the entire thing, but for 40 bucks, how could you go wrong? It was a complete grill. I'll show you the grill now. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna swap. First, we're gonna test it. We're gonna throw that uh, different color grill on there just to see how it looks, but it's too, it has too much blue in my opinion. But just for fun, we'll throw it on before I dismantle it. And then we're gonna be taking the grill inserts out of this grill, transferring them to my color matched grill. And with that, I'm also gonna be adding a custom emblem and I'll show you guys in a minute what we're doing. So here's the current grill that's on my truck. My truck is a sport model, so it has this um, originally chrome slat grill with the chrome emblem. Um, I did show in another video a while back, actually, where I plastic dipped these black. So these are all plastic dipped. I can you know peel this off if I ever want to go back to chrome. And same thing with the emblem; it's also plastic dipped, and that's kind of the look that we got there. But I wanted to go for a more sport look, and when we put the Pro Charger in there. I want to have uh, that more visible because if I put the Pro Charger in your cooler back there, you're not going to see anything through that. So I guess I'm still going to keep both inserts in case I decide to go back, but I wanted to at least give this a shot, try this honeycomb one. So this is the grill that I got for 40 bucks. It was complete, super good deal in my opinion, but um, it's you can probably see it's kind of a blue color in comparison to my silver truck so um, I was thinking about just throwing it on originally I thought it was a black grill so I was gonna try it out that way but I don't think it's gonna look good we'll pop it on in a second but the idea is we're going to get rid of or we're gonna transfer these honeycomb inserts into that grill one other thing to note is you guys can see behind that's you know you can see the floor color through here but then there's uh, this plastic sort of bezel behind it that directs the air towards the center same thing here you can see basically floor there and then you can see all this plastic so what that is is there's actually uh, electronic shutters in the back there and this is trying to channel the air towards that so that the active grill shutters can control the airflow um, through the grill for aerodynamics and also for cooling so it tries to keep those uh, closed to get the engine up to temperature quicker so that you can get better gas mileage and on the flip side of things it also closes the grill so that the truck's more aerodynamic and air doesn't go into and catch into the grill and into the front of the truck and actually goes over top of the vehicle so we're going to actually be probably deleting those because I want as much airflow as possible especially when I'm going to have an intercooler blocking the whole thing so when we do the transfer I am going to delete those so I'll remove those as well when we put these in and then you guys can probably see over here I got this as a little touch here so uh, there's not actually an SRT badge for made for the honeycomb on of course the Ram trucks you can get the RT badge but everyone has the RT badge and I kind of want to do something a little bit different and a little bit special with this truck so I found this emblem it's just a cheap one. I don't really know where it came from to be honest, but it was about 10 bucks. So I'm gonna try this out. It's got this kind of Mickey Mouse bracketing on the back. What I'm gonna do is I don't wanna see this bracketing in the back behind here because obviously this kind of silver look or raw metal, you're gonna see it. So I'm gonna end up painting these black and the bolts and the hardware for now just so I can put it on and then if I do end up liking this look I'm probably going to mount it and the reason why we're using this Mickey Mouse bracket is because eventually I'm going to probably drill through here or make some sort of fastening system once I decide if I really like this badge on here but I don't want to go you know tampering with these grills because they're kind of expensive and a lot of people want them so they're um, I don't want to go drilling holes in them just yet so we're gonna go ahead and do that we'll swap the grills inserts we'll paint these black today if we don't break everything first but it's already falling apart but let's get started as always let's pop that grill out and uh, we'll test fit this before we touch anything I'm gonna go ahead and pop the grill out you guys but make sure to check out that other video on how to take the grill out properly without breaking anything I did make a video not too long ago so make sure you search for that video and find out how to take that off but let's go ahead we're just gonna speed through it and take it out One quick thing I wanna show you guys is these are the active grill shutters if you haven't seen them in the raw. Basically, you can see what's going on here. We got a bunch of basically louvers and they're operated and they actually have a hinge on each end. Um, there's an electronic motor in behind here that you can't see, it's in the middle here. 
but basically, like I said, it opens and closes. The only portion of the whole entire front end that stays open all the time is right here. Basically, it's you know a two inch gap or so on the bottom. It's the only spot where air can constantly get in. I also made a video before about how these typically close on the, when you're on the freeway or the highway, and when they close, if you have a lower degree thermostat, which I do, it's hard to keep the engine temperature down because these are programmed, even though I have a programmer, these are programmed by a different portion of the computer where there's not really a setting in Diablo Sport to control these. So these are gonna be close to try and maintain around a 200 degree uh, temperature, engine temperature, and if you go ahead and put in a 180 degree thermostat, these are gonna kind of fight you on the whole thing. I'm also gonna be removing these uh, active grill shutters very shortly, so there will be a video on that. And I have a kit that somebody is sending me which you guys can install and you don't have to reprogram anything. It'll fool the computer into not throwing a check engine light. So we're gonna go ahead and show that video probably in a little while, but I just wanna show you guys this and what we got going on before we pop on the grill again. All right guys, here's this other grill in here just for fun. You can really see the blue color in it. Um, it does look kind of cool. It would be even better if it was all black, but some people were kind of There's two points that a lot of people made in the last comments on the video is the blue is a little bit too blue the kind of metallic flake that's in it um, It's kind of got a blue tinge to it and it would thrash a little bit with my truck and the other thing that people mentioned too is that it kind of resembles a bit of a crashed truck look which i might agree with it you know kind of looks like a little bit of an afterthought or somebody couldn't pay to paint their grill so that's what it looks like all together i mean it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look it just looks a little bit off is i guess the best way to say but i don't know kind of mixed feelings right now seeing it all together kind of looks good but that blue tinge. I mean, it's kind of hard to say because these uh, factory projectors kind of have a little bit of a purpley bluish in them. When you walk past, that's the only thing that's really matching on my whole truck is the projector lens and the grill. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera there, you can kind of see that purplish bluish look in the projector there. And it kind of, that's the only thing that matches on my whole truck to that grill, but looks all right. looks kind of cool, but let's go ahead and get a nicer touch on there. Just so we don't have no downtime waiting before I disassemble that grill because that's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and paint the bracketry for the SRT emblem. So this is kind of how it comes. It basically just screws out of the back of the emblem itself. And you're left with all this hardware. So I'm just going to go ahead and blast all these with some paint. Got some Krylon. Super fast. It dries in eight minutes and you're allowed to, it says direct to metal so you don't have to prime it or anything. Just gonna use some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and blast all this hardware so that it's all black and matched. So we got the grill laid face down. We have it on a nice cloth so it's not gonna scratch or anything like that. Um, although you guys might hate me for what I'm gonna do to this grill <laughs> probably next week, but that, that's another conversation. So basically you're gonna see a bunch of eight millimeter screws all around the perimeter. We're gonna remove those because the grill inserts are below these. And also you can see that this is below as well, this shroud. So this is the shroud that I was explaining to you guys that directs air exclusively to those active grill shutters, which we aren't gonna put back on when we reinstall this. So the way this works is all these are kind of just in with a locking tab. You can see this one's kind of already made its way free over vibration or never was clipped into the factory. So we basically have to take off all this, these brackets on top so that we can get at these because you can see that these ones are underneath. So, so we can get it underneath and then we can pry all these loose and remove the inserts. Okay, so the grill would be ready to mount on, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that emblem and we're gonna fasten it here. So <clears throat> if I flip this over with one hand, you guys can see what the grill now looks like without the slats in it. So this is the honeycomb grill look that I'm going for. I think it looks pretty pretty sporty and also doesn't have the black shroud in behind like I was showing you guys earlier. So now we have air that can go through the whole thing and it will be able to cool the intercooler once we get that. And let's go ahead and grab that emblem and figure out where we're gonna mount it. It's gonna be over here, um, probably in this location here. Let's grab it. So here's the emblem, like I was showing you guys earlier, I believe it basically just screws into the back here. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this in. 
You probably could use Loctite on this, but this isn't going to be a permanent thing for me. I'm pretty much just going to put this on here, rock it for about a week or so, and then I'll probably do something a little more permanent like I'm, like I'm telling you guys, because I don't really want those, uh, those cheesy brackets on there, but this is kind of the look I'm going to go for. I'm going to keep it in this bottom right hand corner, similar to where you would find, <coughs> find an RT badge or something of that nature. So I'm going to keep it down here and basically those brackets are going to go in the back and hold everything in place. So I think right here is where I like it the best. Let me know what you guys think, but I can always move it around. That's why I'm not doing it permanent yet, but I'm going to keep it in the bottom corner here and we'll use those brackets. You will be able to see the brackets for now. That's why I'm painting them black, but they shouldn't look too, too bad. And then later we'll do something where we, where we put it in here and it's uh, not so cheesy of brackets maybe in the back, but for now I think it should be all right. Okay, so here it is installed. The brackets actually don't look too bad, guys. I mean, you can't really notice them now that I painted them black and they're kind of sitting right in behind there. You really can't tell. Um, I might leave it for now until it bugs me later, but it's in, it's very secure. I tightened it. There's a ton of excess on the back as far as the bolts go. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those off and then uh, we should be ready to throw this on and see how she looks on the truck. Here's what we're left with on the back as far as hardware. So fairly clean install. Um, I'm pretty happy with it for now for just a cheap a little emblem, but let's go ahead and pop this on the truck. Okay guys, here's the final installed product. I think it looks great. Um, of course, as always, let me know what you guys think. You really can't and truly see those brackets from behind, so I might rock it for now. I mean, with me painting them black and where I position them, you can't see anything. So it looks factory, as much as a factory SRT badge would look on a truck like this. But that's basically the look we got going, guys. Let me know, as always, what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm basically trying to make as factory looking sport truck as possible like if srt were to come out with one of these trucks or their version of it and i think everything ties in pretty nicely so we have the black and red hemi badges we got the hellcat replica wheels we got this honeycomb grill which a lot of the challengers and chargers have and we have the srt badge in the grill same as a hellcat uh, or not hellcat but a charger or a challenger so I'm uh, basically trying to recreate my own Hellcat version or SRT version of this truck. I think the only thing maybe missing right now is something on the back. Um, I might go ahead and put a matching SRT badge on the back of the truck and I think that's going to complete it for badging. Or I might leave it off. Let me know what you guys think. Um, with this red and black badge, I think this goes awesome. Like I said again, with this badge, if I did something again on the back, a red and black badge, SRT. I was thinking maybe putting a red and black SRT one here, and I think that would maybe complete the look as far as every uh, every portion of the vehicle having some sort of emblem on it. So that's my thought, but let me know at what you guys think, guys. I think it came out pretty good. Okay, as always, guys, let me know what you think of that in the comments below. I like the look personally. I think it's super clean looking and it's different is the main thing. I know a lot of guys like the flat grill they had in there, but I think this kind of complements it. And like I said, more than anything, it's gonna allow a good amount of airflow and we're gonna be able to see that intercooler once I install it with the Pro Charger kit. So all this is in preparation to get that supercharger on the truck and actually make that SRT badge kind of worthwhile. So, I mean, I'm not sitting there gonna try to put an SRT badge on and other things, you know, super slow. So hopefully everything comes together. The truck is at least quick and kind of can rock an SRT badge in the sense that it'll be a pretty quick truck. That's my plan. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up for me. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that bell notification because it allows you to be notified when the new videos come out. And tons of content on the way, guys. I'm pumping it out as much as I can and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So let me know in the comments below, but we'll see you on the next video. Take care.